All right, let's take a look at basic multiplication just to make sure we all understand the steps involved. There's a little bit of a refresher course. First thing we're going to look at is 17 times four. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to multiply this four times every number up there. So the first thing you do is you start over here at the number closest to the four and you move yourself over. Four times seven is 28, so we're gonna put an eight down here. Carry that two all the way up top. Now you have four times one, which is four, and then you still have to add two, so four plus two is six. So you have your answer of 68. Pretty simple, you've seen that in earlier grades. Now we're gonna look at double digit multiplication. If we have the number 74 times 32, first thing you wanna look at is this first digit, that two. So we're gonna multiply two times four. Two times four is eight. Then we're going to move over and we're going to multiply two times seven. Two times seven is 14. And because we have nothing else over here, we can just put the one right there. Now, we're done with that two. Because we have an X up here, we're going to put a little X down here. You can also put a zero is probably what you're more used to seeing. Either way works. Uh, I've gotten used to using the X just because of the visual that works better. It's totally up to you. Now we're going to move on to this three. We have three times four. Three times four is 12. Carry that one up here. Then we have three times seven. Three times seven is 21 plus that one right there, which makes 22. Now you have to add all these numbers up. We already had this eight and we've said that this could be an X or a zero. Eight plus nothing is eight. Four plus two is six. Two plus one is three. And two plus, well, nothing is two. So there's your answer of 2,368. Let's take a look at one more problem. We're going to look at three-digit uh, three multiplication, which is 819. Let's do times 407. When you have 7 times 9, the first thing you do is you multiply 7 times 9, which is 63. 7 times 1 plus 6 is 13. 7 times 8 is 56, plus that one makes it 57. Those numbers up there that we carried, we don't need those anymore. Those are going to go away. We're done with the seven, so we're going to put an X here. We're also done with the zero, because when you multiply anything times zero, it's just zero. So we're just automatically going to mark that off. Now we have two X's, so X here, X there, four times nine, 36. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. And then you have 4 times 8, which is 32. Now when we add all these numbers up, 3 plus nothing is 3. 3 plus nothing is 3. 7 plus 6 is 13. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus the 1 is 13. 2 times, 2 plus 1, excuse me, is 3, and then another 3 right there. So you have your answer of 333,333.